wonderful. I was just doing dance moves in the cave alone. In front by of the myself. mirror. He just asked yeah. for mirror and some beef jerky. 360 mirrors and beef jerky. Exactly. <laughs> but she respected it, and that's why I respect. But I, I think you were just moving. I was move. Yeah, I was flailing in your direction. That's but, uh, not the way it looked. Is that the way it felt? It would, at times, no. <laughs> the next Prime Video project to release is going to be The Idea of You, which many compared it to a Harry Styles type fanfic. Every night I was just trying something, just anything I could think of, and I was then you know go out there, audience wouldn't laugh, and I was like tomorrow. And then, and then one night I went out there and I said the line and just the house went down. You killed it. Killed. And I was like, oh, I found it. This is such a good feeling. <laughs> I'm Today we wanted to deep dive into this film with the stars Anne Hathaway and Nicholas Galitzine and share the funniest moments. One nil. Sorry. <gasps> Sorry. I trust her. <laughs> oh, I love you! Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. We're just celebrating. We're, we're both fans of the same uh, team, and there's a match going on right now. And during our last interview. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question Anne Hathaway is most known for her role in the very known project, The Princess Diaries. But what year did the film premiere? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I'll give you this one. Um. I introduce myself to people, and a lot of people say, I know, but I, I, try, I do it because I don't know your name. So I think a great first step is if somebody sticks out their hand, even if you know their name, uh, introduce yourself as well. I'm sure I've embarrassed myself. <laughs> I, I get it wrong a lot. <laughs> the film was based on the books of the same name, and even the director said that Nicholas was the perfect person to play this role. Yeah, in in in, in London, yeah, and Mary and George. Oh yeah, and it was and it was sorry, sorry. I just <laughs> She doesn't care about my life. I just have to fill her in. We were when texting we throughout. Sorry, I'm in something else right now. Everyone had pearl earrings. It was it was a bizarre but wonderful I evening. I think that there was a secret premiere of our movie that I wasn't invited to. I'm, I'm just to reassure you. Just to reassure you. Forty-year-old single mom Celine Marchand meets and falls for twenty-four-year-old boy band member Hayes Campbell while taking her teenage daughter to a festival where his group August Moon is performing. And he goes. Oh my God, I've been alive this long and it's never occurred to me <laughs> to use that. And then I came up with a song, which was Nick Galitzine. Nick Galitzine. <laughs> so he's everybody got a gets face it. for a magazine, but he's more than just a beauty queen. Can't wait to hear everybody scream for Nick Galitzine. You have a whole rap? <laughs> the character's 16 year age difference has prompted the internet to draw parallels between former One Direction member Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde's romance, though the film's source material was published years prior. Galatine hopes the movie will go a way to normalize this depiction on screen. But I did steal a lot of earrings from the Mary and George set. I don't wear as much a lot of these pearl earrings because they're a bit obnoxious and they kind of flap around throughout the day. But you have to steal things from set. Kind of rude not to, you know? The nation's hearts. Uh, <laughs> joking. There's a lot that goes into this film, and Nicholas has pointed out certain scenes that are actually relevant to the story. Player Leandro Tresar. Hey, um, I yeah. really loved your celebration the other day for my goal. Um, keep supporting us, and uh, hopefully see you soon at the Emirates. That was for you, Nick are and Anne. You me? Yeah, I'm sorry. He's very, he's very grateful for your support. Are you happy? Nicholas said, I think female pleasure is the sort of protagonist in this movie. These scenes, obviously there is a sensuality to it, but they're not salacious. They're incredibly connective. It's about two people from very different backgrounds and circumstances who share a deep simpatico and fall in love. Never have I ever met my celebrity crush in person, I have. God, I think I have as well. Mm -hmm. It's a small industry. Did you say hi? I wasn't like... I, I fumbled over my words and, okay. and got really, really red. Because but... I dropped my purse. Okay. <laughs> He was walking straight towards me, and I literally looked up and went, uh. And I was like, no, no. People in real life are never as slick as they are in the movies. <laughs> he ended by saying, I use the words joy and love and hope a lot because I really think it's important for people to see themselves in this light when we live so often in this very misogynistic culture. But the one thing that pisses me off when I'm in the US is when I say, can I have a glass or, or a bottle of water? And they go, well, they go, water? What's water? You gotta go water. Can I have a glass of water, please? Uh, and that kind of works. But Americans are very pretentious. We all, we all, we all know it. We all know it. 
But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. I was just like, my heart, I'm like, oh my god, like I started to get, I was so nervous, like, and I like slowly like made my way over and I just go up to her and then we lock eyes so it's like, okay, this is happening. She just looks at me like, and I go, hey. And I turn around and walk away. And creating the fictional boy band from this story on screen was a process in and of itself. It's, it's, a, it's a hellish place, Abercrombie and Fitch. You're, <laughs> you're, are you serious? Is it? It, I, I'm, I'm getting sort of um, flashback uh, trauma now, but they, they, they pump the, the cologne into the atmosphere every four minutes. They do. They play the same five songs for the, for the entirety of the day. And then sometimes they ask you to take your clothes off for minimum wage. So is that I, true? I, yeah. Music clearly is a crucial element of the idea of you, which is why director Michael Showalter and producer Kathy Shulman recruited an all-star team to build August Moon and craft the film's accompanying soundtrack, which includes seven original songs. Jump into the freezing cold ocean and like, but make it hot, you know? And then we got onto a beach and we made out and then we put our clothes back on and then like ran across Savannah and like, now you're in Barcelona, now you're in Italy, now you're in Paris. And it was, it was such a trial by fire, trust exercise, bonding experience. On the flip side of things, the cast have had a great time during promotional interviews, playing some games along the way. I can't read Once it because the. Time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny kingdom. This is really wholesome. How long do we want to spend on this? <laughs> in this next interview, the two play a game of Never Have I Ever. But no, I have not been serenaded, which is quite sad. Have you? I have been. Oh. It's nice. When it happens, you'll love it. Was it? It was a song I wrote. Oh, eye contact? Yeah. Yeah, like a decent amount of eye contact. Do you still love the song? No. Okay. <laughs> no. Going back to how Nicholas approached the role, after he was found by Anne, he explained that he had to go to boy band boot camp to understand what it was like to be in one and how he needed to act. I, like, <laughs> send an ex to Disney, this, this doesn't make sense. We, are, we have fallen so far through the rabbit hole, you guys. But there's, you know, there's positives. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. I hope so. I hope to. I hope so. I love making hand <laughs> ones are really annoying because they would always come I off. I know. They would always come I off. I know. So it was a stupid thing to do that. After Nick played a pop star, I played a pop star. <laughs> the tattoo oh thing my is God. so Isn't like. That, he approached that challenge by attempting to mirror the trajectory of a real boy band, one who, in this case, started out as a non threatening guilty pleasure before eventually morphing into an edgier radio dominating force. I don't give myself a lot of credit, but I'm really good at ordering dessert. What do you mean? So you don't, so you don't ever do des like envy order? Like, you know, when you order something, your friend orders something else, and you're like, damn it, I should have done that. No, I order both. <laughs> And it's clear with these two that they have clear chemistry offset as they are able to crack a few jokes here and there about funny things that has happened in their lives. Wow. So again, we've got a... Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is my, my best uh, screenshot ever. And the tweet says, No baby girl has ever baby girled the same way Nicholas Galaxy baby girls. So, okay. I, I, I have seen this before. What does baby girl mean? At one point, it seemed that they even halted an interview to watch their favorite team score a goal. You seem to secretly have the Arsenal game on. <laughs> Am I right about this? Gone viral. Oh, no. It's gone viral. It's gone viral. Sorry. Uh, trust us. <laughs> oh, I love you! So you're oh, in. I, I love that. Look at this. So much. So you guys are like doing interviews. It's like as if we were talking right here and you had the game on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the first installment of The Princess Diaries premiered way back in 2001. Wait, which night was that? Is it that you didn't call me? Wait, I don't remember don't this. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm going to tell you about it later. I went to carry this so many times that I don't remember. you don't remember because you forgot to call me. Listen, I, I am not, I was not the font of all entertainment on this project. I trusted the wrong person. It's fine. You're so It's fine. I'm funny. over it. You're so funny. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite? And what do you think about this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. An endearing term. Oh, right, okay. For 
typically a man. Um, is it? Oh, people know I'm a grown. I'm, I am a grown, a grown man. You can be a grown man and, baby, and be baby girl. There are a lot of baby girls, and you are so, one of them. So baby wait. Girls. So wait. So what are the what are the qualities of a baby girl? Kind of like a soft boy. Yes. Yeah. A soft boy.